Hey Capricorn, this reading is for you guys. Let's jump on into it and get started. Let's see what messages the universe has for you guys today. So, universe, what do you got to say to Capricorn? What messages, what affirmations, what advice, what guidance do you have to help them on their journey? What do you got for us, universe? Oh, and there we go. So we have the solar plexus chakra. Uh, and that chakra speaks of through your inner power and your self-esteem. I have wisdom. Love begins. Victory and success. And shadow. I feel like we are speaking about a romantic relationship. That's what I'm definitely seeing in these cards. Um, I have light, I have the heart chakra, which again speaks of relationships and of healing. I think, um, I feel that we're going to be speaking of some inner growth and some self-esteem and maybe healing of old wounds to make this new relationship successful. Patience, rejoice in celebration, and foundation and achievements. I'm feeling like that shadow card, it's saying to me, wounds from the past. To me it speaks of the past. And I think you've built yourself back up from something that happened in the past. And maybe it was a negative relationship where your self-esteem really took a hit um, and you, you wound up feeling really hurt and heartbroken in it. But I feel like you've built yourself back up from there because all the other cards that I'm seeing here are definitely feeling really positive. I'm getting a positive vibe off of them. So I feel like this love that's coming your way, I feel like this is going to be a good one. I'm going to go ahead and keep building on this. I've got the seven of pentacles, which speaks of an abundance. The nine of cups which also represents abundance, uh, emotional abundance. And usually the seven of pentacles speaks of, um, speaks of a financial, financial abundance, financial harvest. Uh, but I'm not getting a financial vibe in this. In all of this, I'm getting, I'm getting emotion. That's what I'm getting. And I'm feeling like this also speaks of the work that you put in, in healing, and building yourself back up and now you're going to reap the benefits of that um, and this new relationship that you're entering into is going to have a much greater chance of success I got the eight of cups which represents uh, starting starting out on a bright new journey and I think this uh, I think this speaks of this new relationship as well and the potential of it. I have the temperance card, which refers to a balance between the logic and emotion as well. And the six of pentacles, which also speaks of an even give and take. I feel like these were lessons that you had to learn from the past relationship, the even give and take keeping your emotions in check, not letting them run away, run away on you and not getting stuck in really negative thoughts and feelings. I also have the three of cups, which speaks of happiness and celebration. And it ties into the, um, I believe it ties into the rejoice and celebration as well.
I also have the Sun card, and for me, the Sun card is a good omen of positive things coming your way. I have the Ten of Pentacles, which also speaks of abundance. Uh, it usually speaks of of material, like financial abundance. I'm starting to get a vibe from some of these cards, but I'm going to pull more just, just to make sure I'm on the right track here. I have the Strength card, and to me, she feels like the strength that you gained from healing... Healing from the old relationship, learning the lessons from that, uh, and building yourself back up, that inner strength, that self-esteem, that inner power. I have the Ace of Cups as well, which tends to represent a new beginnings. Uh, and Cups tends to represent emotions. The, I think it also speaks of this relationship as well. I have the Seven of Wands, and to me it represents being assertive, and the Hanging Man as well represents, uh, for me, not getting hung up in, in negativity, in negative emotions, not letting yourself get, get stuck in, in those things, being able to, to move past them, and I think that's some of the lessons that you learned as well, and I think it's, I feel like it's some of the, um, feel like it's, You've had practice with this relationship. Like, you went through these lessons in the last one. You learned the hard way. You built yourself back up. And now in this new love, you're able to practice these things. And it's working out pretty well for you. I got the Wheel of Fortune card, which speaks of your fortunes changing for the better. And the Eight of Pentacles, they usually call them the Apprentice card. And I think in this it was you learning life lessons. Uh, learning lessons on, on love and relationship. That's what it speaks to me of. You learning from the past. I have the Nine of Wands, which speaks of perseverance over time. So working towards a goal. And I think that's what, I think that's what the personal, the personal work was. Because obviously it hurt when that relationship ended and you were left, I think you were left with some, some emotional baggage you had to sort through. Definitely believe you did, but I don't think it was easy. I think you had to find out some truths about yourself, um, about who you were and what you wanted, what was going to make you happy. And then being able to express those out loud. I have the Ace of Pentacles, which also speaks of a new beginning. And the Knight of Pentacles, which represents something you've been working for for a long time coming to fruition. And I think that actually speaks of this relationship. And everything that you went through in, a past, in the past. And really looking for someone that you deeply connect with. And I feel like that's who this person is now. You are now being rewarded for all the work that you've done in the past relationships, learning your lessons, healing old hurts. I feel like now is your reward. This person is your reward for that. I have the two of wands as well, which can speak of, of choosing a path or of a partnership. And to me in this, it speaks of the partnership with this person. That's, that's the word that I get when I look at it partnership. I have the world card as well, and the world card uh, to me is also a good omen card speaking of positive things manifesting for you in your life, and I believe that that also, this entire read to me speaks of this new relationship that you have and the potential of it. So I pulled New Beginnings uh, Throat Chakra, which uh, represents communication. Moving on, and fulfillment of wishes. So I feel that you're moving on from the past, starting out on a new journey. I definitely had to, to learn some truths about yourself in healing those old wounds and do, do a little bit of learning, uh, learn to ask for what you want, learn to communicate and have that, that give and take. And I feel like in this relationship, you're able to practice that and then enjoy the fruits of that labor and have a much deeper connection. I do have fulfillment of wishes there and that's what I feel like this relationship is for you. This is the person you've been waiting for and you are now in a place 
where you've learned lessons from the past and you can make this relationship work uh, you can bring it to its full potential because you now have the tools to do that and and you're in a place mentally and emotionally where you can let that happen Alrighty, guys i hope you enjoyed that read and take care <laughs>